present moment, which has given rise to widespread uncertainty and fear, requires us all as leaders to come together and chart a way forward that will give hope and inspiration to our respective peoples. We must ensure that the undertakings we make at the United Nations, the G7, and the G20, which include addressing food insecurity, global health, peace and security, sustainable and just energy transition, as well as human security, that all of these are meaningfully addressed. What South Africa says, what South Africa does, has powerful global implications. Uh, and that makes this strategic dialogue uh, a vital forum, um, marking a serious commitment by both of our governments to this bilateral relationship and to the work we're doing together, not only uh, between us, but uh, regionally and, and globally. We must also reinforce our common commitment to multilateralism, democracy, and human rights, and use the proven tools of diplomacy, peace-building dialogue, and mediation to resolve conflict and end the intolerable and unnecessary human suffering which results from wars and other forms of conflict. And the region to address the original pandemic of HIV AIDS through... We're dealing, both of us, with an incredibly challenging time. Um, the world faces threats from disease, from climate change, from food insecurity, uh, from violence, um, what we can achieve together as two leading democracies, I think, is even more urgent. And that's also why so many colleagues are here and so invested in this process. This is 